this little song for the woke. Now's the time to wake up. It's far too late to say. The choice is yours to make now. It's up to you to be free. But I So that's a taste of my new song. Uh, it doesn't have a title yet, even though it's a couple of years old now. Uh, it, was, it was several different songs, two different songs actually, that I put together to make one song. And uh, I tried uh, a couple of different production styles and arrangements on it, and each time I was just like, <laughs> and I just trashed it. And the song kind of sat there on a shelf for uh, maybe two or three years. And then, uh, Recently, the whole woke culture started happening, and I was just like, oh, man, this is the right time for that song, which is really funny because I find the whole woke community, the whole idea of being this whole wokeness that's going on, you know, haven't you awoken yet? Haven't you, aren't you waking up? You've got to wake up to the truth, man. I'm, I'm, I'm woke. I'm woke. It's just extremely comical. Um, I find it comical because the term woke is borrowed ultimately from uh, metaphysical studies and esoteric studies. Um, it was first taken out of context a little bit um, for, the, for the movie The Matrix, where this, they're, they're waking up to a new perspective of the, of the matrix of reality, which <clears throat> has a lot of levels to it. On, on one level, it's a, sci it's a great sci-fi movie, but really on another level, it's just a borrowed philosophical um, precept um, uh, that's, is, that's hundreds of years old. But it's fascinating because you do feel like you're waking up. Uh, when you peel back these layers of reality, you're, you're peeling back what you, th what you thought reality was, and you're waking up to a new reality. And it, you literally feel like you're waking up from a dream because you're seeing it from a different perspective. So, uh, and this, this awakening is a process. It's kind of like a, like a seed that pops and it starts, its, it starts its growth, you know, and it's going and oh, what's it gonna become? Oh my God, you know? But really, it's, uh, it's, it's this unfolding of something to this great surprise. And there's no word I can give you that's going to tell you what that surprise is. There's no word that anybody can give you that could tell you what that surprise is. It's just astonishing. It's astonishing on every level of being, and it blows your mind on levels you don't even know you have levels to yet. And uh, 
it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's life giving. It's it literally is the savior. But <clears throat> if you're just waking up, those words are they don't mean anything to you. And uh, if you're going around calling yourself woke and you don't know what singularity is or self-realization is, um, you're not woke. The idea that woke has anything to do with the political landscape is laughable. It's maybe a, a single step on a, on a long staircase of steps that are leading you ultimately to this ascension process. And at the top of the step, you're, you're seeing the other side. And the other side is astonishing because whatever concept you think that you have of it is wrong. It's so wrong that your only response is just to laugh in absolute astonishment. At the same time, it, you can either laugh or scream because it's very scary at the same time. <laughs> so, which is why uh, ascension, uh, the ascension process is a slow process because it takes... It takes time to prepare the mind to conceive of these kind of things, to conceive the unconceivable. So ultimately what I'm trying to say is that um, it, these, these things that, that the, the woke culture is claiming as woke are all qualities of the blue pill. So in the matrix, there's this, this master philosophical Zen master, I guess, from the future, and he's telling Neo that he's going to show them, the, show him the truth. And he offers him two pills. And you've probably seen a meme of this: a red pill and a blue pill. <clears throat> and the lead character Neo is given a choice. So the blue pill, he will stay in Wonderland, and he won't find find the truth. If he takes the red pill, he's going to go down this this rabbit hole and find this truth, the truth of everything. So. That's the whole red pill, blue pill thing. But if you're thinking that politics and culture and uh, thinking that you're, you're at the bottom of that, that that is, that is woke, that you're mistaken because those are all qualities of the blue pill. In fact, anything material, person, place, or thing, is a quality of the blue pill. The red pill transcends all of that. It's beyond mind. It's beyond time. Beyond space. Belong, beyond object. beyond the idea of other. Beyond the idea of gender. Beyond the idea of what it is to be human. Atlas is licking his wound over here. And everyone's staircase is different. My staircase looks nothing like your staircase. And this guy over here, his staircase is totally different. And her staircase is different too. And the minute you're going up your staircase and you're kind of going, no, your staircase is wrong. You gotta be doing it like this. Then you're, you're listening to the wrong person. Just follow your staircase. If yours has got a twisty turn to it, then do the twisty turn. If yours has 15 steps to it, do your 15 steps. Some staircases have 15,000 steps. It all depends on how far away we are from the truth. How many steps does it take to get back to nothing? So that's what the song is about. Uh, and that's what this channel is going to be about. It'll be musical, but 
it's also a big part of my life, and it's uh, about this sovereignty that I have that I want to share with you. And this this piece that I found that's transcendent of of all the cultural ideas of what peace is. That's what I found. And I want to share it with you. I want to share it with you in a way that it hasn't been done before. Because I'm an artist, and why not? And because I know that suffering. <sighs> He's very restless today. And I want to share this with you because that suffering I know is hard. And I'm here to show you that you can break free of it. You don't have to move to India. You don't have to do meditate 15 hours a day. You do have to work on yourself. You do have to work on your life. And you do have to learn how to say no. And you have to do a lot of things that are going to be very, very, very uncomfortable. But with each level of uncomfort that you overcome, there's a little reward and a further knowing. There's a further something. But don't mistake that it's something that you're, it's not that you're adding new, wisdom, new knowledge to something. Your wisdom is actually the opposite of that. It's breaking away things. It's breaking away of ideas breaking away of thoughts. Breaking away of expectation. And just be in the moment. Feel yourself breathe. Because it's anything you wish. So be the love that you see. And the love will just be. It's that simple. But so hard for so many of you. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of that. More to come. <laughs>